This program is brought to you by Emory University. Within Emory's diverse population, there are still a few students who stand out. Some students, they are very, like, very surprised and they are looking very, like, kind of very strange. Kunjo Baiji is one of six Tibetan Buddhist monks studying science at Emory as part of the Emory Tibet Science Initiative. Last semester, so I took the chemistry and biology 142. And so this semester I'm taking the biology 142 and also the NBB 201. ETSI is a vision of His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama. The goal is to bring modern science to monastic education and to integrate East and West traditions to bring his monks and nuns into the 21st century. Emory Tibet Science Initiative provides that kind of missing piece, if you will, that uh, up to now that two traditions have focused separately. Here is an opportunity to come together. Every summer since 2008, Emory scientists have traveled to Dharamsala, India to teach monks and nuns science. So we're teaching them modern physics, um, modern life sciences, biology, and also neuroscience. These six monks are the first to come to Emory to learn on campus. While they may not look like your typical college students, they're living like them. They have their own off-campus apartment, they have their own laptops, which some just recently learned how to use, and of course, they're on Facebook. Uh, I love very much friends and relatives who live in Dharamsala. They are worried about us, and, and also, you know, they wanted to know something information from us and also we are always curious to get some information what's going on over there. They also use Facebook to learn English. These monks study hard and take tests. They ride the cliff shuttle and martyr to get around and they do enjoy typical college food. We enjoy a lot of pizza. Pizza also I like. Yeah, I like too, pizza. <laughs> but in all the ways they're similar, they continue to keep their Tibetan traditions. They mostly eat together traditional Chinese and Indian food. We don't know how to cook American food. That's the one problem. They're still learning English and have very little scientific background. The monks put up a whiteboard in their apartment where they write down words they don't understand and to help each other learn math. It's all part of what was a difficult transition from India to America. The building is different in my yeah, in India and the people is very different, yeah, and the, uh, the textbook is very different for in, yeah, in my monastery. It seems like, like you know, here, like time is moving very fast. Uh, so it, in India, so it seems like it's the time is slow down. Uh, and so every people we seen like very slow and they have like enough time. But in here, so everybody like student or professor, everything, like everybody looks very busy, you know, so. This is quite different. And the reasons they're taking these science classes are different. When they go back to India in May, they're going to be responsible for teaching other monks and nuns what they've learned. They're the keystones in the evolving Tibetan monastic education system. Yeah, I can see we have a very huge responsibility on shoulder. In their short time at Emory, these monks have become a part of campus life. They will be back in the fall to continue their studies for one more year. For Emory University Communications, I'm Corey Broman, folks. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.